Hello, Mitchell Torina artist. It's Miss Carrie with one last project, art project, to send you off into the summer with. Actually, it's kind of a sciencey art project this time. Um, uh, congratulations. First of all, congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm so proud of you guys and proud of everybody who um, finished whatever grade you finished. You're on to the next chapter in your Mitchell train of life. Um, so I've been thinking about staying in touch and doing it safely from a safe distance. And that got me thinking about string telephones. So today we are going to be making a string telephone. And in order to do this, you need two cups of some sort or two cans. Um, definitely get your parents to help you with finding cups or cans that you have at home and you're going to need um, string of some sort. I have some yarn here and some string. It's good if the string is kind of thin and strong. You don't want like big fuzzy yarn. It works better if it's like a thin kind of tightly woven kind of string. Um, you'll need pens and or um, pastels to decorate your phone and tape. You'll also need um, either scissors or I have a nail here to make the holes in the cups. Um, so once you get all of those materials together, um, then you're ready to go. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the science of this. It's really, really cool. Um, have you ever noticed that it's harder to hear someone the further away they get from you? That's because sound is made with vibrations that travel through the air from the source to your ear. So, for example, if you put your fingers on your throat um, and say your name, you're gonna feel like a little buzzing. So I'm gonna say, Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. See, I can feel what you're feeling when you put your hand on your throat when you talk is a vibration, and those are your vocal cords vibrating. And they push on the air, and in the particles in the air carry those vibrations to your ears. And um, it's just a really cool thing to think of the fact that sound is actually these physical, tiny physical waves that are moving through the air into your ears. So what's cool about a string phone is that the cup and the string are really good conductors of the vibration. And so you can stand away from each other, like 10 or 12 feet, and you can hear each other better than you could hear each other um, talking with the same volume. You can hear each other better um, from a greater distance. So, you are going to start out by um, getting your cups, and you probably wanna decorate your cups first. I was thinking about sound waves and vibrations so I've been putting like little zigzag decorations. Ooh, that's not a very dark marker. Let's try a different marker. I've been putting like vibrations, vibration decorations on my cups. I've made a few different string phones in getting ready to make this video. And it's interesting to me how the different shaped cups create a slightly different kind of sound. So you might want to make more than one set. Anyway, you're going to decorate your cup and you can use paper cups, plastic cups, tin cans. So you're going to decorate the outside and the inside however you want. If you have paint, you could paint it. Ooh, these pastels look pretty cool on this, on this plastic cup. So I'm just layering my decorations here. All right. 
So the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to get either your scissors or like I was saying, I think a nail works really well to create a hole. I already have a hole here, but I'm just gonna show you how it works. You just kind of use your nail and kind of wiggle it. You definitely wanna have your parents help you with this with your making your holes in your cups. See, so the nail works pretty good. Just kind of wiggle it around to make the hole big enough. And then you are going to take your string. I've already done it here, so I'm gonna redo it so you can see how it works. You're gonna take your string and you're gonna thread it through your hole. You only want one hole. I've got two holes now on this cup, but you only want one hole. And you might wanna, um, let's see, I'm gonna use my nail to kind of push this through to thread it through my hole. And once it's through, you're going to tie a knot with the string so that it stays put because you're gonna want the string to be taut between the two cups. Okay, so I made my knot, and I'm gonna put a piece of tape on it to make sure that it stays in there. So I've got my tape in there. And you're gonna test it to make sure it's in there tightly. Right? And then you're gonna do the other side. And you wanna make sure that the string goes in the bottom, right? From the bottom to the inside. That way, when the phones are pulled apart and you're standing 12 feet away from your friend, the phones will be facing away from each other, right? So now I have artist Maeve here who's going to help me demonstrate for you. Hi, Maeve. Hi. So she's gonna take her cup and she's gonna go all the way back. And then I'm gonna hold it to my ear. And, she, and she's gonna talk to me. She says, wow, it's so cool. It definitely amplifies it. Okay, now I'm gonna talk to you. Put it to your ear. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear it? Yeah. So the other thing that you wanna do, back up. Just for a second. The other thing that's kind of cool to do is put it to your ear and then have your partner play with the string. Run their finger up and down it, kind of play it like a bass string. And you can hear the amplification really clearly and the way that the vibration gets carried through the string and gets amplified by the cup. Have fun, you guys. Have fun with your uh, string telephones and have a great summer and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.